All right. This team, it's, it's just one game. But can you take confidence from the from the win over Louisville and really the way you played in the entire ACC tournament? Yeah, 100%. You know, uh, obviously the Boston College game was just one of those games we just couldn't find a way to win. Um, we had a couple of big hits to come back. Um, but, yeah, we, we played well in that game. And then Louisville obviously played really well. Obviously Matt Clark threw really well, and we, we hit the ball hard against one of the best stars uh, in the country. So, yeah, definitely some momentum going in there. But um, a big momentum is more of just, you know, watching today, watching the show and, you know, getting selected in. We're all fired up for that. And, um, we're ready to go. We got you know two practices uh, this week at home, and you know everyone's excited. Everyone's in good spirits, and uh, you know coach kind of you know says it's a new season. It really is. You know batting averages don't matter. Wins and losses don't matter. Everyone's zero zero uh, and zero for right now. So um, yeah, we're excited. We're ready to go. I don't know if during your time at LSU you got to go to Ole Miss, but you know anything about Oxford and so playing I, at that park? So I didn't get to go go to Ole Miss. They came to us uh, my freshman year. Um, you know, obviously, I know everyone knows the beer shower when they hit a home run is pretty cool. And uh, you know, obviously, Coach Bianco there has done a great job with that program. And they always have a good program. But I'm not super familiar with their team. Um, I've hit something we'll do. There's some scouting reports on here and there. But um, <coughs> I'm excited to get down there, and it'll be fun. And a new environment, SEC environment, which is obviously, you know, really, really good. So we're excited. What was Coach Lee's message to the team once the selection show was off? And- and he talked to you. What did, what did he tell you? Basically, obviously, we were all excited. So he's, you know, kind of touching on that, how, you know, we should be excited, we should be grateful we're in. And then, you know, like, like I said, the new season thing. You know, it's a new season. Um, we've had our struggles, we had our ups and downs this year. Um, but none of that matters. You know, it's not it's the best team that wins at all. It's the teams that play the best. So um, we're excited to get, you know, into that field 64. And um, as you all know from watching a lot of baseball, it's always the best. It's always the team that gets hot at the right time. So uh, hopefully we can... Get some of that, you know, from the ACC tournament and, you know, get hot at the right time and play well. Uh, Ole Miss, speaking of getting hot, Ole yeah. Miss got hot in Hoover at the SEC yeah. tournament. Did you get a chance to watch any of that? A little bit, yeah. I saw, you know, bits and pieces of it, obviously, I, you know, with us playing and then, you know, traveling back and practicing. I didn't, you know, watch every game, but, I, you know, I saw they got hot and got to the championship and um, lost to a good Vandy team. Um, so, yeah, so they're, they're hot. We know they're hot. They're a good team. Uh, so, we, you know, got to be ready for them, but also got to be ready for Illinois uh, in game one. Do you feel like that, you know, the past couple of years you've gotten a hot Vandy team coming in here? Yeah. That this is as good a draw as you, you could have hoped for or asked for? Yeah. Not taking anything no, away from Ole Miss, but no, a great yeah. draw for no, you guys? Uh, no, yeah, I definitely think so. You know, um, we obviously knew we weren't hosting going into the selection show. Um, so it was kind of a, a breath of fresh air. Kind of, I guess maybe, you know, get away and get, you know, a couple different teams. We had you know, the same two teams in here um, the last two years. So, yeah, it's it's a good draw. Like you said, that, that Ole Miss team, you can't look past, can't look past Illinois. So, um, but, you know, they're all good teams. And like I said, it's – with baseball is a weird game, you know. Uh, anyone can beat anyone on any single day. So um, we're going in excited, you know, expected, expecting to win, expecting to play our best baseball. And, um, but yeah, no, we're excited. We're in excited to, you know, get down to uh, Ole Miss. So. Uh, obviously, you'd like to have the home crowd, but the, yeah. in a small way, does it take any pressure off after you know the last few seasons you, you've had the home crowd and haven't been able to get to the Super? Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe so. I don't know if there's necessarily that, that pressure. If there is, it's kind of you know a self. Uh, Created pressure, I guess, um, that we put on ourselves. But I don't think there's necessarily a pressure. But I definitely think it's, it's, it'll be cool to, you know, travel with this team and kind of get on the road and get in a different atmosphere and see what that's like playing, you know, in front of I don't know how many they get there, probably 12, 13,000. So uh, yeah, we're excited to go down there and um, you know play some ball. Some of these teams get to this time of year and they're tired. Yeah. But when you guys get to Friday, you'll have played two games yeah. in 13 days. Has that maybe been a bit of a blessing? In disguise to kind of get some guys healed up yeah. and rest some things. Yeah, I think it's it's bigger for you know our arms, uh, you know, to get some rest. You know, guys that have done a lot of injuries here get some rest. But um, from like a standpoint of just the team as a whole being tired, I, I don't know if that really plays a huge factor in it. But yeah, it'd be nice to get some rest and um, have some guys fresh going into the weekend. How much does it help finishing strong the way?